Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so just a quick video um, that's hopefully fun and, and maybe a little bit useful for you guys. Uh, talking about performance a little bit and how to get more projection specifically out of your perfume. Uh, and if you know me, you know I like to focus on straight up uh, perfume reviews. I don't <clears throat> do these other videos, but uh, exception today because uh, I just had a little bit of an inspiration in the shower and uh, just wanted to film a quick one before going to work. Uh, so don't think that uh, I'm, be I'm a tool wearing this. <clears throat> I'm actually headed to work right afterwards and I'm not even a surgeon. Uh, I'm actually a psychiatrist. Um, so a little fun fact for you guys. But scent of the day is uh, Byredo's, uh, whoa, okay, Byredo's Blanche. Uh, and man, uh, this is the perfect scent when you just want to smell clean and crisp and fresh. And I had thought that this would be kind of one of the more feminine uh, perfumes from Byredo, but surprisingly this works this is so gender neutral and it works so well on a guy in my opinion. Uh, and it's a really work safe scent uh, that's refreshing out of the shower. So loving it right now. Um, so we're going to talk about <clears throat> performance a little bit. And um, you know, people care a lot about the performance. Right? Uh, that's probably the word that you hear most in any YouTube review. Uh, and you know, it's important, right? It's important to people. Um, what's the point if you can't be smelled? And you know, sometimes you ask yourself, <clears throat> well, I, I'm giving it four or five sprays. Uh, why am I not smelling it as much as I think I should? Uh, why are people not smelling me? And I think that it has to do with, well, first of all, it depends for, on, uh, from fragrance to fragrance, but uh, it also has to do with the way you spray more so than the number of sprays. And um, I do have a, a chemistry background and, and I'm gonna maybe like, uh, describe what I think is intuitive, but um, don't take it the wrong way and think this is supposed to be some scientific explanation. This is just empirically, you know, from my experience, uh, I tended to notice when I got more projection out of a perfume, the same perfume versus less. Um, I noticed specifically, you know, when, when you spray on the arm, uh, when I'm testing fragrances or the hand, it seems to, um, I seem to smell it more compared to when I have it on my neck, despite you know, it being the, the neck being closer to the nose. And that's really interesting, right? And I think, you know, what's important is the distance that you spray. Um, you know, what generally when I test on the arm, it's a relatively close spray because I'm, I'm I don't know, it's just out of habit, but um, that's just what happens. I don't want it to, the arm is a relatively uh, thin thing compared to surface area compared to the neck. So I don't want it to, you know, miss the target, right? And get dispersed. And, you know, sometimes when people spray fragrances, maybe some of you do this, but I used to do this where I go, Ch -ch 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 -ch, right? You just kind of go all over. Uh, and I think that you waste a little bit when you do that. Uh, because think about this, uh, why is the oil concentration important, right? Eau de Parfum, Extrait uh, versus Eau de Toilette. Uh, it's, it's all about, you know, the strength of the smell that you perceive is all about you know, the number of molecules per surface area, right? So when you spray either far, right? Or you spray all over like this, um, no matter how many sprays, you're basically, I mean, dispersing the molecule. And, you know, that's why the atomizer is so important. The atomizer actually uh, serves a function, you know, I think, uh, it actually reduces the, the intensity of the smell. Because if you were to smell this oil directly, uh, and if you've ever had a, a little bit of a spill around, you will know it smells really strong, right? Much stronger uh, than when you typically wear it. And so that tells you, right? Uh, it's, it's basically when all of it is concentrated in a small area, the smell comes out uh, stronger. Okay, um, so that's the first thing, right? You, so what you want to do instead is I think, first of all, uh, you know, bring it closer, uh, you know, you can kind of experiment, but I think around this distance is pretty good. You know, sometimes people do this, right? But bring it closer because then what you get is all that oil starts to disperse, but then hits your neck before it can really uh, spread out even more. And that's what you want. Uh, and maybe you can even do like one, two in the same spot, right? So uh, do like a few concentrated sprays uh, rather than going all over. Um, <clears throat> I do think that that increases the, the projection specifically. Uh, and it, it also helps last uh, make, make the fragrance last longer too. And I think that that has to do with uh, 
Again, this is just my thought, but um, you know, you, you guys maybe know more about this or you have your own techniques and you can share, please share in the comments. But I think it has to do with the cohesion, right, in these molecules. So, you know, when, um, uh, you know, like a, just a general basic concept of, uh, in biochemistry specifically, you know, the, things like water have a, a cohesive property, right? Where, <clears throat> you know, there are, there are different kind of uh, interactions that hold uh, a substance together, um, different sorts of chemical interactions. And one of those is even just straight up the fact that uh, the molecules rub against each other. Um, that alone, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't even have to be like a positive charge and a negative charge, you know, <clears throat> that's an ionic interaction. But you know, even just the fact of molecules rubbing against each other creates some sort of cohesiveness. Um, that's why in water, when you look at like the level of water uh, in like a cup or whatever, a flask, it, it has that meniscus, right? Because the, the uh, uh, water molecules stick together. And so same with uh, perfume, right? This is alcohol and oils. But if you disperse it, right, you're basically, <clears throat> I mean, you, you decrease the chance of it clinging to your skin, but also to each other. And I think that when you spray, like I said, a concentrated spot, you're getting uh, a lot of the oil together and it sticks together and it has a higher chance of also sticking to your skin and, and staying that way for longer. Um, and so, again, it's not just all theory, this is just you know, practically this is what I found, right? Where spraying closer, uh, spraying more in one spot, right? Key spot, wherever that is for you, your preference, uh, is, is very effective, right? In enhancing the performance. And you're gonna save juice because you're, you know, you're not missing yourself, right? The worst thing you could do, and none of you do this, but you know, uh, some people out there, non-fragrance enthusiasts do this, right? You spray in the room and you walk through it, right? So it's the same concept. Uh, just not that bad, right? If you spray far away, right? It's the same same idea. So why do that? You know when you can get a lot of the oil in one spot uh, You know, you might ask why not go like right up close? Well, uh, that's obvious, right? It's you're gonna get some backfire uh, It's gonna you know soak your hand. It's gonna get a little messy and start dripping, right? So that's the function of the atomizer, right? You want it to disperse and stick but it's a fine balance uh, and I mean may maybe we're reading too much into it, but it does matter uh, you know, if you go too close, it just drips and you get good smell, but it's all a mess too far and you don't get enough oil in one spot. All right. And it doesn't stick and it has a higher chance of just flying it away into the air. Um, so you're wasting a lot of juice. All right. So quick tip, um, you know, let me know what you think. And of course, you know, share your sort of favorite tip uh, about, uh, you know, applying perfumes, uh, what your preference is. I think it, you know, there is no right answer. Everybody does it differently, but this is just one, my, my favorite uh, advice that I have for you. All right. Um, so more reviews coming up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.